I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, there are alarming new increases in the number of COVID cases around the world as President Trump struggles to get the country and his campaign back on track. It's a scene we haven't witnessed in months. A large indoor gathering with thousands of supporters cheering President Trump. A campaign relaunch one Republican strategist said was much needed after a brutal few months. For the president, it was a way to get out of Washington and leave his troubles behind, if only for a few hours. It's been a difficult week for Mr. Trump. The Supreme Court ruled against his administration for attempting to stop a program protecting the children of undocumented immigrants from being deported. His former national security advisor, John Bolton, won a court case to allow a bombshell book to become public. It's a devastating look at a president trying to do just about anything to win re-election. Then, the controversial firing of the federal prosecutor investigating Trump allies Rudy Giuliani and Michael Cohen. Most troubling, that the number of new coronavirus cases in some states has spiked dramatically. But President Trump continues to downplay the virus. If we stop testing right now, we'd have very few cases, if any. It's fading away. It's going to fade away. I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. They test and they test. Is politics getting in the way of common sense? Restrictions in blue western states like California and Oregon have tightened in light of the increases. But many of the southern states that are Republican leaning have been slower to respond. We'll talk with a top Democrat on the Senate Intelligence Committee, Mark Warner, plus acting Homeland Security Secretary Chad Wolf. We'll get an update on coronavirus from former FDA Commissioner Dr. Scott Gottlieb and talk with G. Day Zeitlin, the CEO of Tapestry, a Fortune. 500 company. Finally, we'll reflect on the Juneteenth anniversary with New York Times opinion writer and CBS political analyst Jamel Bowie. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.